Triple digits in a week are here this afternoon. We're headed right to 100. Uh, still a tad humid today, and that does yield a very slim 10% shower chance, not expecting nearly as much coverage as we've caught the last couple of days. Even less humid into the weekend. That keeps us dry and mostly sunny, but does allow it to get a bit hotter Saturday, Sunday, and beyond. We're actually a little above average. Uh, this Friday morning, though, pleasant enough. Upper 70s, low 80s, first couple hours of the morning. Uh, close to 90 by 10 in the morning, we'll still feel that humidity. And with sunshine through early afternoon and 97 degrees at 1 p.m., yeah, it turns hot and it's still humid. We think 100 happens around 3, 4 p.m. Uh, we will watch the sky turn partly cloudy this afternoon as a couple of stray showers uh, try to get going over the mountains. 102 in Mesquite, 101 in Boulder City, 107 in Laughlin, upper 90s in Pahrump. Again, lots of clear sky through midday, but that's when some clouds will bubble over the higher terrain, maybe one or two stray raindrops. This coverage, uh, not anything uh, as scattered stormy as the weather was on Thursday as well as Wednesday evening. So for all intents and purposes, we're dry on this Friday. And as we run future cast into the start of the weekend, Saturday morning, more sunshine Saturday afternoon, just one or two fair weather clouds, mainly over the mountains uh, looking quiet, uh, but looking toasty this weekend. 102 on Saturday up to 103 on Sunday. Now next week, We'll have to wait a few days, but middle of next week, Wednesday into Thursday, the pattern will change and we'll pull up a little bit of monsoon moisture, yielding a couple of spotty storm chances, maybe middle or end of next week. In between now and then, it's hot, little above average here for late August. Again, 100 today, first time in over a week, a hot weekend. Justin Hinton, you can catch me at the pool Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Ooh, I like that, sounds good. All right, time right now, 5-17. The Stanley Cup champs are on the road thanking fans.